Well, hello friends. Are you missing those onboard meals? Well, I am very much. In today's video, we are going to learn how to prepare an Emirates first class meal because Emirates flight catering has sent me a bunch of stuff so we can get something prepared. Should we start? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Laís, aka Skyward Freak, aka Emmer's most loyal customer. I post a new video every Friday, so if you'd like to see them, don't forget to subscribe. But enough introductions now, because I have a story to tell you. Something that happened earlier this morning. While there's still no word on a cure for the virus, government officials report the virus is not airborne, but can be transferred through contact with blood and other bodily fluids. The virus seems to be making people uncontrollably violent. Dear Lais, we know you miss tasting some of our great products on board. So here's a selection, especially for you, of fresh and easy restaurant quality meals. Foodcraft is brought to you by Emirates Flight Catering, so we know you love it. Enjoy cooking up a storm, Chef Jeremy. So they want me to cook holy moly. Mas gente, tem tantas outras coisas que a Laís sabe fazer. Não, não façam isso, não. Say what? Laís is going to cook. Are you sure you want to do that? All right, well, if it's necessary, piece of advice, just have your fire extinguisher handy. Last month, she cooked twice for me, and there was some fire involved in the process. True story. So I heard a rumor that Laís is going to cook. That reminded me of a funny story. A number of years ago, I went over to Laze's house. She invited me over for dinner. And so I dressed up nicely. I bought a fancy dessert and I came over only to discover that Laze had made hot dogs. And these are the items that came into the box. Ice cream, some bread, pastries, fresh vegetables, ready-made gravy, and lots of meat types. Everything was super well packaged and really looked fresh and easy, as the label said. Hey, chef, can you hear me well? Is, is the sound working yeah, fine? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, yes, and the mic from your side as well. Yeah, 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 it's perfect. Okay, good. Perfect, that's good. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me on this challenge, which is to cook for me. Uh, but before we get started, would you like to introduce yourself to my friends, not followers? Of course. Hi, everybody. My name is Dragan. I'm originally from uh, Croatian Seaside. I'm currently working with uh, MRS Flight Catering, and we are working on the product which is called Foodcraft. Uh, we have our own sausages, cut meats, uh, fresh cut vegetables as well as uh, perfect ice cream. Yeah, I was just showing it to them, the stuff that you guys send me. So kind, thank you so much. So no I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I have here today and you can tell me what to do with it. So I have some, okay. um, look, uh, stir-fried vegetables, some mixed vegetables for soup, some uh, chicken, and the red Thai curry. But I also have some um, basil. So yeah, where do I even get started? Okay, um, from that product you can make two things. When you're gonna take your vegetables, just put them in a, in a pot with the water, a bit salt and pepper, um, right, nice and easy and light. Okay, great. And for main course? Main course, uh, okay, you show me the Thai curry now. So that's it, we're gonna go to Thailand. You're gonna use your uh, chicken leg, pan sear it in a bit. On a, 
with the salt, first season salt and pepper, then in a bit of oil, one sear it to get a nice golden color for all the sides. Later on you use the Thai chicken curry. When it's medium ready, you add your stir fried vegetables which is inside, just for them to keep the crunchiness. Do you have any steamed rice by any chance? Yes, yes, of course. Perfect. Then the dish can be complete. Wonderful, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, well, totally so make the life easier. I'm going to get the working here and I'll get back to you in a couple of hours to tell you how I did. Perfect, it's gonna be my pleasure. <laughs> Let's see. Ta ta, chef. Thank you so much for joining Ciao. me. Hi, pleasure. While we wait for the soup to cook, let me tell you a little bit of my experiences with flying to Bangkok. I've been there twice, but I believe the first time was the most memorable because it's probably the first act of true Skyward's freakness. I had received an email from Emirates saying how close I was to becoming Skyward Silver, and I didn't hesitate. I went online and I checked all the destinations that would give me just enough tier miles to become silver. And Bangkok was a very good deal. So I flew to Bangkok within that same week for 36 hours just before the month was over and it was a lot of fun. It was a very memorable trip. My second trip to Bangkok was actually in January 2019, that time to celebrate the 8th anniversary of my very first Emirates flight. The most fun thing about that trip was actually the freak challenge that my friends not followers on Instagram suggested to me. I was to take a Muay Thai lesson and by the end of the lesson be able to do 30 consecutive kicks. Now mind you, I'm not the fitness person. Yeah, I may have a special talent for embarrassing myself, but come on, I made it. <laughs> because I travel a lot, people often ask me for tips and recommendations of what to do in destinations. And I have to tell you, I try and stay away from the most popular sites or things to do and I try and look for meaningful local experiences. So here's one tip I have for you in Thailand. If you get to Bangkok, please do not miss going to watch a movie in the cinema. The most interesting thing that I've seen there is that the royal anthem is played at the beginning of the movie and of course the audience is expected to stand and pay tribute to it at the beginning of the movie. It's something interesting, you should definitely try. Another spot that I found particular, and that may be a little bit more popular, is the Unicorn Cafe. It's a lot of fun. You just get to dress up like unicorns and look silly and perhaps take some selfies for Instagram. I enjoyed it. So this is Bangkok from a freak's point of view. About the food, I hope you like what you're saying. It smells great and I can't wait to try it. But it's time not to face my judges, my friends. They will tell me whether I was able to conquer my fear of cooking. Shall we see? <laughs> I'm nervous. Of course. It seems like they're liking it, but oh well, maybe not. Or maybe yes. <laughs> Look at that score! <laughs> 380. That is a perfect score. It looks like I got away with cooking today, just like I'm getting away with this whole YouTube thing. Friends, I hope that you enjoy the cooking experience. I hope that you approve my score. Isn't it perfect? If you disagree, please comment below what score would you have given me. And if you like today's experience, subscribe, give a thumbs up, comment below, whatever you want to do to support me. Thank you so much for joining me today and let's play sometime soon.